Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this WordPress tutorial for beginners using ChatGPT, I'm going to show you how you can have this website using the power of WordPress and ChatGPT. As you can see, all the content here that I have created, including the images as well, I have used ChatGPT to create it. So you can see all this blog post. I just got the ideas, including the blog post as well, using ChatGPT. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of WordPress, how you can install WordPress, how to create blog posts and install free themes for the site. Look, if you want to have a website in any niche, you can actually select different themes for an e-commerce store, for a food drink, for food and drink news, photography, portfolio, whatever you want, you can simply select a free theme and there are hundreds of thousands of free themes that you can use for your site. So by watching this video to the end, you should have this website up and running using the power of WordPress and ChatGPT. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure to stick around to the end of this video because in less than 30 minutes, I'm going to show you how you can have this website up and running. So without further ado, let's get started. So you may be wondering what you need to have this website, okay? So in order to have this website on internet, you need three main things, right? And these are a web hosting, a domain name, and SSL. So let's say this house is the website that we are going to build. And in order to build it, we need a land. We need a land that this house is going to sit on it, right? And this hosting is the actual land. So the hosting is the land that your website sits on it. And the domain name is actually the name of your website, like, like google.com, like youtube.com. These are the domain names and the signs that identify your site on internet so people can recognize your website. And an SSL, which is a fence that protects your house, right? So in order to have this house, you need these three things. And only one of them is actually, you need to pay for one of them. And, and WordPress as well. The WordPress is free. The domain and SSL is free but you need to pay for the web hosting. And in order to get all these three, I'll leave a link in the description below to Bluehost. Okay, once you click the link in the description below, you will come to Bluehost official website. So this is where we're going to get our web hosting and domain name. And as you can see, they are providing a free domain name for the first year, free SSL, free CDN, and money back guarantee. And it only costs you $2.95 a month it's like a cup of coffee a month and you have a business, right? Not just a website. And the reason I'm using Bluehost myself for all my websites is because this is a cheaper option and also recommended, but WordPress official website, as you can see, Bluehost is number one compared to other options. Bluehost is probably the cheapest one and the best one is powering over 2 million websites. And that's why I'm using Bluehost for my website as well. So once you're here by clicking the link in the description below, go ahead and click on get started. Okay. Now we have a couple of options, the basic plan plus plan and other options as well. If you're only going to have one website, I'll probably go with basic plan. If you're going to have multiple websites, you can go with this plus option. Okay. It's up to you. You can just go through them and see how much hosting you get in 10 gigabyte and other options as well. You can see this one is providing unlimited website. Okay. But for now, as we're going to have our first website, I'm going to select the basic plan. So select this basic plan that is $2.95 a month. Okay. And now save six. You can, you can just skip it for now. Okay. Now, you can choose your domain name. If you already know what would the name of your website, I don't know, this website is going to be about maybe cooking and I would like to have my name somewhere in the domain and I just can use it. Okay. Just create it here. Or if you're not sure what will be the name of your website, you can actually skip it for now and then add the domain name later. But 
what I did, I actually use ChatGPT as well. So you need to go to ChatGPT. This is what I did. I went to ChatGPT and asked ChatGPT give me 10 domain names about cooking that contains many. And look at this one. This is absolutely great. Many cooking corner, the many kitchen. Cooking, cook with many. Chef many recipes. Like these are great, man. People actually pay on Fiverr to come up with these ideas. And depending on what sort of website you're trying to create, you can use this method to come up with some of the great names for your website. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually test which one is actually available and use it for my website. Okay, cookwithmanny.net. So I am going to select Cook with Manny. And let me go back to the Bluehost. Okay, let me just paste it here as well. So this is the domain name, cookwithmanny.com. I personally recommend going with .com because it's a better domain name that people actually can remember better. And you, there are other options, .net, .info, .org. Depends on what sort of website you have. You can choose other other extensions if you want. But for now, I'm going to select .com. And after you select the domain name, click on Next. If you are not sure what will be the domain name, you can click on this button that says, I will create my domain name later. You're still going to get the domain name for free if you decide what will be the name of your website. Okay. Now, let me just click on Next and see if this domain name is available or not. Cool. The domain name is available. Okay. Now you need to put in your account information, like your first name, your last name, phone number, and things like that, and the email address, and select the package that you want. If you want to choose 12 months or 36 months, okay. And if you just start out, 12 months will do a job. Scroll down a little bit. The domain privacy. You probably need the domain privacy because you want to hide your information from other people and the site backup. You just probably don't need it because it's extra money and you can use free plugins to get the backup for free. So I'm going to uncheck this one and uncheck site lock. So in total, it's going to be about $44, right? And put in your credit card details and click on this button that says submit. Once you click on submit, you will get to this page that says, welcome to Bluehost. Congratulations. Your purchase was successful. You also receive an email. You need to check your email and confirm that email to come back here and create a new password for your website. Then you will get to this page, put in your new password, accept the terms of service and click next. Once you're here, click on login by clicking login. Bluehost will automatically install WordPress for you, which makes the whole process even easier. Then you land on this page where you can choose the theme or the look of your website. We're not going to select the theme for now. We're just going to skip it for now and we're going to select our theme later on. So for now, skip this page and skip the next couple of pages. And then you get to this page that says all done, which means your web hosting is all set up, your WordPress is all set up, and now you can start building. So click on this start building. And this is the back end of your WordPress site. This is where you can control everything from themes, plugins, pages, and posts, and everything through your back end of your WordPress site. And if you're wondering what will be the URL of the back end of your site, this is basically the same URL that you use for your website, like your domain name.com and then followed by slash WP admin. You can either type in WP dash admin or just type in login. Okay. Slash login. And then you would get to the back end of your WordPress dashboard. And if you're wondering how your website actually looks right now, this is how your website actually looks. This is an empty website with no posts, just a simple hello world and nothing really here. All right. This is how our website actually looks. And now let's go and build our website through the backend of our WordPress dashboard. If you like this video so far, I really appreciate it if you tap that like button so more people can actually watch this WordPress tutorial for beginners and learn how they can start the WordPress website from scratch. Okay. The first thing that you need for your site is a template or what is called theme in WordPress. And in order to install the theme, hover over this appearance section and click on themes. 
WordPress is basically offering heaps of free themes, right? And in order to add a new theme, click on this add new button. And now you can see that WordPress is offering thousands of free themes. There are heaps of them and you can choose any that you think is suitable for your site. And in order to install it, simply click on this install button and activate it. But you can also use tools like ChatGPT. So I actually asked ChatGPT, I'm sure you heard about ChatGPT, it's a free AI tool that can help you a lot with WordPress and making your website. I asked ChatGPT to give me 10 free stylish WordPress themes for a blog. And you can be a little bit more specific like a food blog and it's giving me all these names, right? These are the names that I probably never heard about them, right? For example, Color Mike, right? All you need to do, just copy the name and go back to chat to WordPress and search for that name. And as you can see, this is a theme that ChatGPT is offering me, right? If you want a certain theme for a certain niche, you can search, you can ask ChatGPT to give you a certain theme in a specific niche and it will give you some things that you probably never heard about them, right? So in this case, I'm going to use the theme called Julia Light. So this is the theme that I'm going to use for this video. And as you can see, it says activated. I have already installed this theme. What you need to do, just hover over it, click on install and then activate it. And this theme will be activated for your site. So by changing the themes, the content of your website is not going to change, right? So feel free to install and activate as many themes as you like to come up with the right theme for your website because the content of your website is not going to change and that's how easy it is to get out of one theme and go to another one. After you install the theme, go to the theme section and you can see this theme is now activated for your site. The next thing we can do is to change some of the information for our website. So go back to the dashboard and hover over settings and click on general. Okay, now you can see we got the site title and tagline. So if you want to change the title of your site, of your site and the tagline, you simply just change it here and right now I got cook with Benny and it says just another WordPress site. I'm just going to change that to cook with Manny or you can add whatever you want. And then you can scroll down a little bit, change the date format and the time format if you want and scroll down a little bit and click on save changes to save all these changes for your site. So this is our website right now, which is empty. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add all these blog posts that I use ChatGPT to my website. So all these blog post ideas, I just got it from ChatGPT. And in order to get it, what you need to do, you need to go to chat.openai.com and ask ChatGPT for an ideas. For example, I'm asking ChatGPT to give me 10 viral blog post ideas about cooking. Look, if you're trying to have a blog in well, health and fitness or whatever niche you want, you can just change that cooking to your niche. And now let's me, let me just ask ChatGPT and see what sort of results I can get for my blog. Nice. So these are all 10 blog post ideas for my blog. Number one, 10 easy and delicious 30 minutes meal for busy weekends. Like these are great actually titles for a blog. And if you, if you want more, you can just ask ChatGPT to give me 10 more, 20 more, 100 more. So you can never run out of ideas. This is absolutely great. So now I have this blog post, all right? I'm going to create a blog post for this. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the title. Okay, the first one. And now go back to WordPress. And you can either create a post or a page. If you are going to have a static page, it's better to have a page if you're going to have a dynamic sort of post that you're going to change down the track and update it. I'll probably recommend going with a post. There are pretty much the same sort of concept. So now hover over posts and click on add new. Okay. Now we have an empty blog post. What I'm going to do, 
I'm just going to copy and paste the title. So I have this title for my blog post. And now I need an actual blog post for my for this title. I can either write it down myself or I can just go back to ChatGPT as well. And now ask ChatGPT to give me, uh, I don't know, 300 words article for the first result. Okay. And now ChatGPT will give me a 300 word article for my blog post. This is absolutely insane. Sweet. So now my blog post is ready. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this. Okay. And now go back to WordPress and paste it here. Nice. So I have a blog title and the actual blog post. If you want a longer sort of blog post, you can ask for 500 word, 500 words, thousand words, you know, just ask ChatGPT for more words for your actual blog post. Now we have a blog and we now need a category for this blog. Okay. So click on this post section. If you're in block, click on post. And now you can see when you scroll down, we got categories. I have already added some categories like Asian brunch, dessert, salad, and things like that. And this blog post, I'm going to assign it to one category. I can create one. For, for example, this one, I'm going to call it night meals, right? So click on add new category and I'm going to call it night meals. Okay. And add new and this cat, this blog post is added to this category. After you finish your blog post, you can click on publish and publish your blog posts. Nice. Okay. Now let me just refresh this page. And as you can see, we got one more blog post without any images. So this is the blog post. Let me just go to the actual blog post to see how this blog post actually looks. It looks good. It doesn't have any nice images like the other ones. So what I'm going to do, just go back and this blog post is not added to the menu as well, which is fine. But for now, let me just create an image using chat GPT for this blog post. Okay. Now, if you haven't liked this video yet, I really appreciate it if you tap the like button because it can help more people to actually watch this video and learn how to use WordPress and use this WordPress tutorial for beginners. So now let's go to the OpenAI one more time to create the images. So OpenAI has another tool called DALE2, right? This tool is a great tool to create AI based images. So what I'm going to do, click on try DALE and in order to come up with the actual description of the image, you just don't need to do anything. Just go back to your actual post. Okay. And just, I'm going to call it easy and delicious 30 minutes meals for busy weeknights and just copy the title. Okay. And come here, paste it and click on generate. And now it starts generating AI based images for that specific title. Nice. So we got all these AI based images that you probably cannot find anywhere on websites like Pixabay or Pixels or something like that. Easy. You don't need to search anything. You just need to put in the description and it generates actual images for you. I think this one looks good. So I'm going to use this image for that blog post. What I'm going to do. Click on this button to actually download this image. So the file is now downloaded and it's in PNG. I actually converted to JPEG to make it a little bit smaller, which is, which makes the loading of your site faster. So what I'm going to do, going back to the actual blog post and I'm going to use it for this. And in order to use it, go to this post section, scroll down. And there is a featured image. Simply drag the actual file and drop it here. And now it starts uploading that image for your blog post. So 
This is the whoop, this is the actual image. Now I'm going to update it. You need to update your blog post to apply the changes. Now let me just go back to the actual blog post. So this is the actual blog post. Now let me refresh it. Okay. And now you can see we got this image added to the actual blog post. Looks pretty good. And if I go back to the actual website as well, our website, let me just go back to the actual URL one more time and see how the website actually looks. Okay. So you can see this blog post is also have a image. So all these blog posts that you see here, I use ChatGPT to create every single one of them. I just got the ideas from ChatGPT, the actual blog posts as well, and the images as I have shown you in this video so far. This is how easy it is to become a blogger now. If you like to add more elements to your blog post, like, I don't know, a YouTube video or an image in the middle of the paragraphs, let's go back to our blog post. Like, if you would like to add more elements, by clicking somewhere on the page, you can see this plus button. And if you click this, you can see we have a lot of options. If you want to add a table, image, heading, list, whatever you want, you got, you got heaps of options. And if you click on browse, you can see it gives you more options as well, okay? And if you wanna, if you wanna use any of them, simply just drag and drop it on your blog post and it will be added to your blog post. Now, let me just add that image in the middle of the paragraph, right? Like we just drag it and simply drop it here. Okay. And now I've got this option to add the image and now I can drag and drop the image here as well. So this image is added in the middle of my paragraph. So the same way you can add a YouTube video or a table and other elements to your blog post to make it look nicer as well. After you've made the changes, make sure to click on update to update your blog post and all the changes will be applied to your blog. And now I would like to add the category for this blog post to the main menu. So by clicking the setting button, you can see and go to the post. You can see night mills is the category for this specific blog post. And I would like to have it as a menu item. So if you go back to our homepage, you can see that we got a couple of options here, salad, brunch, Asian food, and things like that. And there's no night meal that I would like to have it on the main menu. So in order to do it, go back to the dashboard and hover over appearance and click on menus. If you already have a menu, that's good. If you don't have a menu, click on this button that says create a new menu and you can have a menu first and then have menu items added to the menu. But here I already have a menu and I would like to have uh, that night meals added here. So you can see in the, in the left section, we got posts, custom links, categories. So you can simply select a post and add it to the menu, or you can choose a category and add it to the menu. And in this case, I'm going to add night meals and add it to the menu. Okay. And this item, as you can see, is added to the actual menu. Okay. So if you would like to add other options, like the home page, there's no category for the home page. In this case, you can, you can select custom links. Okay. And the link title will be probably home or home page or something like that. And then add the, the actual URL for your website. So you need to add the URL and add it to the menu and the new menu item will be added here as well. After you add the menu item, you can change the orders as well. I can take it and move it to the top. It would be the second option. Okay. Or it can be a subcategory. Like by dragging it and move it to the, to the right, this would be a sub menu item for salad or brunch or other options. Okay. But for now, I'm just going to have it as a separate menu item. Okay. And I have created it. Make sure to display location main menu is ticked. And after you have created, save the menu. Okay, so I have saved it. And now let's go back to our homepage. 
refresh the page, and Night Meals is now added to the main menu. Now, every time I create a new blog post and set the category as Night Meals, let me just click it, it will show in this section as well. So right now I only have one blog post and it only showing me one blog post here as well. This is how you can actually create the menu and add menu items to your blog. Now let's customize our website a little bit. You can see this website title is my website and there's another label here that says just another WordPress site. You probably want to get rid of it. So in order to make changes to these sort of sections of the site, you need to click on this customize link here. So click on customize. And now it's offering me a couple of options. Okay, like if I want to change the label or the title of the site, I can simply click on this pencil here next to this label. And now you can see it says site title. I can change it to whatever I want. I call it cook with many. Okay, and I select this one and I get rid of it. Okay, and as you can see, it's gone. Now, after you make the changes, you need to publish it to apply the changes. Okay, so my website is actually changed. Now, if I go back to the main menu, you can see I can change the menu from here as well. So I can select the menu and go here and add other menus from this section as well. So you can change it from the dashboard and from this part as well. Now, if you go back here, we can change the widgets as well. Sidebar, as you can see, here, this one, this widget, I can change it. I can remove it if I want to, or I can add blocks to it. As you can see, scroll download. There's this little button that says add block. So I can add blocks to it, or I can actually get rid of any part that I don't want. Okay. So let me just go back up. And the home page settings as well. So this theme is offering me a few options here so there's a pro version as well that you can use other themes are sometimes providing more options like changing the colors or fonts and things like that i just decided to go with this theme because it's it's look clear fast and i think it's nice as well you can choose whatever you want but for this tutorial these are the options that it's offering to me so this is pretty much the end result I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I really appreciate if you tap that like button, share the people so more people can actually use this WordPress tutorial for beginners using ChatGPT chat and learn how to have a website in few minutes. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I try to get back to you as soon as I can. And that's pretty much it. If you want to learn how you can actually take a backup of your site or have a business email using your current web hosting, make sure to check out the next two videos and the actual playlist as well that can definitely help you with blogging as well. And that's pretty much it. I uh, See you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video.